a few of you were asking what would happen if the electrode heater was put into a glass of distilled water, which theoretically it shouldn't be that conductive. So I've just distilled this glass of water here and let's plug the electrode heater in and stick it in and see what happens. So it's showing much less than if it was a mineral rich water. Roughly 4 watts. Let's see what current that is. Oop, he went right past it. 19 milliamps. It's a modest amount, it means voltage. Uh, it's not going to be heating the water up an awful lot. So, it's currently sitting at a rather measly 4.2 watts, 4 watts. So what I'm going to do now then, oh and going down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this sitting for a while and then I'll come back. So I'll leave this, ooh, about an hour, if that, well, if, unless it actually does impart minerals and it really gets conductive, but we'll just give it plenty of time and we'll see what happens. So um, I'll be back shortly. Well, I'll be back in about an hour, um, but it will be shortly. So not one hour later, but two hours later. At one hour, it was up to about six watts. Now it's up to about 12. So... It's almost like it's doubling every hour, perhaps, and I would expect that if it was imparting salts into the water, you know, metallic ions. In fact, let's just give it an agitation and see. Uh, pretty, pretty fixed. Uh, if it's imparting conductivity into the water, uh, metal ions or whatever, then it would gradually increase in conductivity, and I suppose that ultimately, if it was left long enough, it would boil. At the moment, it's just barely warm. So um, let's uh, accelerate this along a little bit with uh, Mr. Salt. So let's get some salt into this. So just a quick recap. This is distilled water, not super mega distilled water, but distilled water. Oh, I should mention before I add the salt. Distilled water uh, that precipitates out the air, if you've ever been to a, a train station uh, with electric overhead line trains, uh, like in the UK our trains operate at 25,000 volts overhead lines. And on a really icy day, you can see droplets of water forming underneath the lines themselves. And the train, when it comes in, will be arcing and flashing the really bright, vivid turquoise spark as it uh, drives into the station. It's actually damaging the overhead collector on the, the uh, train and potentially damaging the lines as well because the water is acting, it's very pure. The condensed atmospheric water that's frozen onto the line and formed drips underneath it. It's very, very pure, and it's insulating the uh, train's overhead collector from the, the line. And that because it's 25,000 volts, it's arcing across, and it, it does cause a lot of damage. So they sometimes reduce the number of trains running. Uh, they'll try and remove them from service if that's happening, just to avoid progressive damage. Um, so it's, it's just interesting that if you ever see the train come in that showers of sparks as it does on a freezing cold day, then that's probably it. But anyway, salt. So let's uh, add a wee sprinkle of salt in here. Oh, instant. Oh. Right. That was fast. Oh. I think that must have just been the salt going between the electrodes. That was quite uh, violent, actually. Bit more. That is the salt going between the electrodes. Oh, almost two kilowatts. Give it a wee stir up. Doesn't take much. Oh, that's over two kilowatts now. Oh, that's a uh, that's a uh, definitely heating the water a lot faster now. This cable may not be rated for the eight amps it's currently pulling. Uh huh. Yeah, it's getting violent now. But also, it's kind of, because it's boiling, oh, and it's starting to spray water everywhere, 
Yeah, that's that's the water hot now. Oh, oh, that is boiling hot now. Right, time to end that experiment. So yes, it doesn't take much salt to uh, to turn the tame. Oh, I'm going to have to mop that up now. Uh, it doesn't take much salt to turn the tame distilled water, which isn't conducting, into highly conductive water. So yeah, it was worth doing that experiment. It was quite interesting.